Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to create a table in PostgreSQL. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to create a table in PostgreSQL. Also, we will demonstrate the step-by-step -step guide to create a table using SQL cell and also by using PG admin in PostgreSQL. By end of this video tutorial, you will have a complete knowledge of creating a table in PostgreSQL. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video tutorial. First, we will know about how to create a table in PostgreSQL. Then, how to create a table in PostgreSQL using terminal. After this, how to create a table in PostgreSQL using a PG admin. At the end, we will know about PostgreSQL create a table if not exist. Now move to the first topic, how to create a table in PostgreSQL. The create table statement is used to create a new table in PostgreSQL. The syntax for the creating a new table in PostgreSQL is as follows. The syntax for creating a table in PostgreSQL is as follows. First, type the name of the table to be created after the create table keywords. It is optional to type if not exist as it does not throw an error if a table with the same name already exists, rather only notice is issued. Then, then we specify a list of columns separated by commas in the following order. Specify the name of the column to be created in the new table. Then specify the data type of that column. In the end, specify the constant for the specific column such as a not null, unique, check, primary key, foreign key. We will learn to create a table in PostgreSQL using command line or terminal. The step to create a table using the terminal like a SQL cell or a PSSQL. Let's see with an example. Now open the SQL cell or PSSQL which is a terminal based front end to PostgreSQL. Now enter your username or a password to connect to a SQL server. Now after login PostgreSQL, create a new database using the command create database followed by the name SQL Server Guides which is the name of the database and hit enter from your keyboard to create a database. After login into PostgreSQL, to create a database use a command create database followed by the name of the database here is like a SQL Server Guides. Now hit enter from your keyboard to create that database. After creating database we need to connect to that database. So to connect with that database we will use the command slash c followed by the name of the database. In our case, it is a SQL Server Guides. Now hit enter from your keyboard. As we can see, here is a message showing you are now connected to database SQL Server Guides as a user Postgres. Now we are going to create a new table in this database. Now we are going to create a table name employee. So to create a table name employee, we have used the command create table as you can see here, followed by the name of the table employee. This table is going to contain five columns. First column is employee ID. The data type of this column is integer and constant is not null, which means this column is not going to be null. So it must have any value. And this column is going to be primary key. So as we can see here, we have defined the constant of this column as a primary key. The second column is name of type text, which means it is going to store the name of the employee and constant is not null which I have already explained it's uh, not going to contain a, any null value it must uh, contain the uh, name of an employer and the third column is the department depth of type text and fourth column is experience of type integer which is going to store the experience of uh, an employer the fifth column is a uh, salary which is of type money money type stores uh, the currency amount with a fractional precision. Now hit enter from your keyboard to create this table. After hitting enter from your keyboard, it shows messages like a create table, which means table is successfully created in the database SQL Server Guides. To see a list of uh, relations or tables, use command slash D. As we can see, the database SQL Server Guides contain the table name employee whose owner is a Postgres and the schema of this table is public. This is how to create a new table in PostgreSQL using the terminal. Now move to the next topic, how to create a table in PostgreSQL using a PG admin. In this topic, we will learn to create a table in PostgreSQL using PG admin. PG admin is a graphical user interface which is used to create, update and delete database and tables in a PostgreSQL. Let's see 
practically how to create a table in PostgreSQL. Open the PG Admin 4 application, which is a management tool for PostgreSQL. This is the first view after opening the PG Admin application. Now click on here as you can see left side of this window server. If it asks for password, then enter the password. Now when this server expands, it shows a lot of information like PostgreSQL database, login group rules, and table spaces. So we need to create a new table for this we are going to just expand this option database and uh, here we are not going to create a new database because we have already created in the previous video so what we are going to do is to select this database and expand it and directly go to the option schemas and also expand this schemas and select this option public after selecting this option public to create a table just right click on that and to go to create option and select the table option and the create table window appears as you can see here you specify the name of the table like a employee now click on a tab columns to create a column in that table to create a columns in that table so to add a column here right side as you can see click on icon plus to add a row and uh, specify the name of the column as we have done in the previous uh, video topics like emp id then select the data type of this column so data type of this column is going to be integer just search the integer and select it and uh, this column is uh, not going to be null so turn this on and also this column is going to be primary key so also turn on the primary key button also turn on the primary key button then again add the new column which is going to be the name of the employee and uh, select the data type so here i am going to select text and then this column is also not going to be null so turn on the null button not null button so not null and primary key is the constant on on these two columns now again we are going to create a new column department and it's also going to be text then again create a new column experience and uh, this column is going to store integer so its uh, data type is going to be integer and the last column is a uh, salary cell and then this column is going to store the currency amount so its data type is going to be money now here at the right bottom corner click on save button as we can see here in the left side in the browser section the table employee is created successfully this is how to create a new table in postgresql using a pg admin application the next topic is postgresql create table if not exist we will learn to create a table in postgresql using the if not exist feature as the name suggests we use this statement when we want to create a table if a table with the same name does not exist in the database so when we use this statement it checks the entire database before creating a new table for a table with the same name if it finds a table having the same name as that of the new table it will generate a notice and the process continues if we don't use the statement then then an error is generated in a such a situation which breaks down the entire process so the syntax to create a table using if not exist is as follows it is clear from the syntax that we have to just use the if not exist keyword after the create table command and the system will understand we want to have a check before creating the new table to see how if not exist feature works let's see it practically first we'll create a new table name employee as we can see this table is created successfully now we are going to create a same table to see the result how if not exist feature response as we can see that the error is written by it is clear from the result that when we don't use the if not exist the system generate an error a relation employee already exist now we will make a table using a if not exist feature hit enter now it is clear from the output that the system generates a notice rather than an error and the process continues without any error as the part of the code get skipped in the system. This is how to use the if not exists keyword with the command create table to handle the table that already exists in a database. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed post about how to create a table in PostgreSQL on the website sqlserverguides.com. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about how to create a table in PostgreSQL. So at last, I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.